Stop putting so much attention on yourself and being in your head all the time when you're around them. Just focus on asking them questions. And that's really freeing. That's a great way to get, that's the best way to get someone to like you, to talk about them, to, uh, to encourage them to talk about themselves. And that's great. That's awesome if you are introverted because then you don't have to talk about yourself. All you need to do is ask questions and listen. That's all you need to do. When you are both shy. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what to do if you like someone who likes you back, but you're both shy. How can you get around this? So the first thing that I wanna say about this is that one of you needs to be the one that makes the plans. One of you needs to be the one that starts taking the lead. And if you're watching this video, then perhaps it should be you because you can't force someone else to become more brave, but you can force yourself to become more brave. So you can't try and get someone else to do all the work, but you can do the work yourself. So basically what you need to do is you need to ask them out if you haven't done so already. So if you both have been talking to each other and you both have established that you both like each other in that way, then you need to make plans with them to meet up. So the next time you have a conversation with them, just ask when they're free to meet up and then you can meet up and have a little date, um, you know, uh, go out to dinner or have a few drinks together or just hang out and start that romantic relationship happening, you know, get together. Because if you just keep on saying to each other, oh, I like you and they're saying that they like you as well, but nothing is happening, basically what's gonna happen is at some point you're both going to one of you is gonna put the other in the friend zone. And obviously you don't want that to happen if you really like this person. So you need to be brave and get things moving. Now, if you are having trouble with your confidence, then I highly recommend that you watch this video on self-image to help with your self-image, to help with your personal development, so you can start gaining a little bit more confidence in yourself. Now, if you're a really shy person, because I'm quite introverted as well, just because you're introverted doesn't mean that you can't get someone to really like you and have a connection with someone. What I was really thankful of was when I started getting into personal development, I started reading a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And the link for that book is in the description. And basically this book goes into, you know, how you can get people to like you. And one of the great things that I learned that really like took a weight off my shoulders was the fact that you don't really need to do anything in order to get a to get a person to like you. All you need to do is talk about the other person. So you ask the other person questions about themselves that they would enjoy answering. So an example that I've used quite recently has been if you notice that the person has a nice of clothing or perhaps they have a really uh, nice car that they take care of, all you need to do in that situation is just ask questions about things that they true that you can see that they care about. So if they have like an interesting style of dress or if they have a tattoo or if they have a nice car that you can tell that they look after very well, then ask them questions about that because obviously that's something that they really care about. And basically what this does is if you're shy, it takes the pressure off of you because you are asking questions about them. And people love to talk about themselves. You know, as human beings, we are very self-centered. Okay, we love and we're very interested in our own lives, um, which is why um, I don't really understand it when people are so worried about what other people think of them because most of the time other people aren't thinking of you people are very selfish people are always thinking about themselves most of the time they don't care what you're doing they don't care about um what posts you've liked on facebook they don't care about what clothes you're wearing i mean if you are wearing something really extravagant then they may look at you and think oh that's different <laughs> you know but they won't be thinking about it all day. They won't be thinking about you all day. You know, not, not even your crush is thinking about you all day. They've got other things that they need to think about. They've got their relationships with their parents, their siblings, they've got relationships with their other friends. They've got things they need to worry about at work or at school, depending on how old they are and what they're doing with their life. You know, they've got all these other things going on. They're a lot like you. I mean, you're probably not thinking about your crush 100% of the time. You've got other things you're thinking about as well. You're thinking about, you know, your car payment or you're thinking about you know that relationship you have with your boss and how it's you know going strange or if it's going really well I don't know 
um, or you're thinking about something that's going on at school or you're thinking about something that's going on in your neighborhood or something. We all have different things about our lives that we are very interested in. So they are not thinking about you all the time. No one is thinking about you all the time. That shows that we are very self-centered creatures and that's okay, that you can use that to your advantage if you're shy. So basically, when you're interacting with the person that you like, you know, just talk about them, ask them questions about themselves. And all you need to do is ask them a question about themselves and they'll just sit there and talk about themselves. And all you need to do is keep on asking questions and talking about them. You don't need to have the focus on you. So I highly recommend that you read that book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. In fact, on my channel, I did a quick summary of the best ideas that I got from that book. So you can go and watch that as well. Um, it won't be that hard to find. You'll be able to find it quite easy on my channel. If you just look at my most recent videos, it should be somewhere along on that list. So another thing about, you know, the person that you like, if you start becoming very interested in their life and very interested in the things that they like and you are talking about the things that they like and asking them questions about those things, they're gonna really enjoy your company, they're gonna really like you because we can't help but like people who are interested in us and who find us interesting. Take it easy a bit, okay? Stop putting so much attention on yourself and being in your head all the time when you're around them. Just focus on asking them questions. And that's really freeing. That's a great way to get, that's the best way to get someone to like you, to talk about them, to, to encourage them to talk about themselves. And that's great, that's awesome if you are introverted because then you don't have to talk about yourself. All you need to do is ask questions and listen. That's all you need to do. So what happens if you are asking them questions and they're really, really shy and let's say they don't really give much of a response, they only give one worded responses. Now this is something that happened when I was on the first few dates with my fiance. She was very shy when we first met and um, she found it hard to really open up um, because she was shy. It wasn't because she didn't like me, it was just because she felt quite um, shy in those circumstances. So I would ask her questions about herself and she would give me one-worded responses. It was kind of, she would tell me things but they, she wouldn't really elaborate on them and it was very difficult for me to pull information out of her because she was feeling very shy in those moments. So if you're uh, the person that you like is is like this when you're around them basically all this means is that they just need to spend a little bit more time with you to feel comfortable they're just not comfortable yet to be around you especially if they're introverted so if they're introverted they probably it probably take a couple of dates um, for them to warm up to you and to start opening up and to feel comfortable around you so that's what happened with uh, my fiance you know she just needed a few more dates to warm up to me and to become more confident and more comfortable around me. So it may take a while, but the point is, is that you just want to be the one who is arranging to meet up with them. Just ask them when they're available to meet up. I mean, if you both like each other, then you should both want to see each other. And when you do, just aim to start making them feel comfortable around you. And one of the best ways you can do that is through humor. So be funny, you know, um, tell jokes to each other. If you've been talking to each other already and you already know each other quite well, um, then you'll probably have a few inside jokes anyway. So just talk about those things. Just talk about the things that you both have a mutual interest in. Um, so it could be like things like video games or it could be other mutual friends that you have. You know, you could do a little bit of gossiping or something. I don't know. So, or you could, if let's say you go to work together, you know, there are obviously people that you know in that environment that you could kind of talk about and, and stuff like that and have a joke and a laugh or two. And the same rule can be applied if you study together, if you go to school together. And sooner or later, they will start to feel more comfortable around you and you will start to feel more comfortable around them. And then it will become a lot more easy and a lot more effortless, but you need to put in the time. You need to start hanging out and spending time with each other. Because if you don't, when you do eventually meet up, you're gonna have a lot of anxiety around it and you're both going to be feeling kind of awkward so the more time you spend with them the easier it's going to get the easier it's going to be for both of you to feel comfortable if you have any tips yourself then please leave them down in the comments so we can help each other out if you like this video then please like it please subscribe because that really helps my channel out like it really really does if you leave a comment or if you leave a like on this video um, that really helps with the engagement and it helps youtube push these videos out if you want to get in touch with me personally and you need help with a specific situation because these videos are obviously very generalized, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.